Today, we're looking at the 100 weirdest things I've ever seen in Google Earth. And the last one is gonna blow your mind. All right, here we go to our very first one, all the way over here in the middle of, uh, I don't know, is that Arizona? Arizona, here we go, what is it, what is it? Oh, look at this, whoa. Oh my gosh, the 3D-ness is actually frightening. They actually 3D modeled these. So this is apparently a giant Air Force graveyard for airplanes. Yo, wow, you can even read that it says US Air Force. Yo, that honestly is so sick. I don't know, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. All right, all right, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is absolutely insane. This is the lion fort. These farmers got too much time on their hands. Wait, this looks like a zoo. Cause it says whips. Oh, it is a zoo. Oh, that's just like the zoo advertising. Oh, very nice job guys. I like that they put the detail right there. They didn't mess around. They said, hey, we're gonna give this thing a tiny little pointy booty right there. And they did. <laughs> Look, it's like a fancy bunch of people that, okay, what? They're superheroes. <laughs> it's a superhero party. And then half of them are wearing top hats and suits. We got the Joker, the Flash. We got freaking, is that Mr. Incredible? <laughs> is that what it's like in Scotland? I'm not sure where this is. I don't know my European countries, but this kind of looks like some sort of an alien thing, doesn't it? Like almost like a like an alien spaceship landed here. Come on, look at that. Those are clearly impacts, right? I mean, this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen before because the way it swirls does not look natural. The way it's perfectly evenly spaced out doesn't look natural. I have two guesses. One, aliens. Two, some sort of weird construction project. But like, no, it has to be aliens. Someone drop me a comment. What is this? This is aliens, right? Going out of the bottom of Africa here, the middle of Africa, and we have... Oh, it's a herd of... Is that a herd of buffalo? <laughs> this is a herd of buffalo. Why is this one area just randomly, like, super clear? I'm really confused about, like, what's going on next to it. Like, what, what is this? The Google map Earth people just said, Hey, yo, that's pretty cool. Let's give it detail. I don't know, man, but that's really sweet. Like, freaking, I hope Simba's not in there, man. A little Lion King action. What a sad, sad moment. But this is really cool. Okay, this is weird. How would they know he was coming? They had to have been doing this before he came. I mean, do they always carry around bird heads? Like, is this a thing they just have waited their whole life? So I'm, I'm really confused about how this thing happened. I was scared. What is this? Some kind of like a weird harbor here? And it looks like a, a ship crashed. Wow. That is a big boat, dude. It almost looks like there's two boats, like a massive one right there. And the weirdest thing is there's trees growing off the boat. Like this is creating like its own island. Yo, and what is this? There's a lot of scrap in here, man. Can you imagine like messing up so bad? You Wait, there's like quite a few. Wait, why is there so many boat wrecks in here? Wait, look at this. There's a boat wreck here. There's literally a shipwreck that's marked here called the heroic shipwreck. There's also the a ship here and there's a ship here. Australia, what y'all doing with your ship steering fam? What do you guys think about Illuminati? Do you think they're real? Because look at this. <laughs> Come on, in the, are you kidding me? In the middle of the freaking desert, there's a Illuminati signal. What? Why does this stuff exist? I need to know. We have to have satellite footage of people that do this. I need to know why there's giant lines in deserts. So this one's actually on Google Maps. <laughs> I don't know where it is, to be honest. If anyone recognizes this, let me know. And how someone found this, I don't know either. But uh, freaking horseman over here. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, this is uh, uh whoa. Oh. That's that's a by the way. This is a river. This is river color. This is the water. What? Is this real? What is this? It looks like kind of salt, maybe. The Texas Gulf Potash Pond Eight. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but boy, look at that. Dang, that is sick. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, what in the world? This dude just put out a fake tea and cookie thing. Is that for free? It's like a cute little street here. Is it? Oh, is it? Oh, is it Halloween? Wait, is that a Halloween decoration? I see orange. I think it is, but why is he giving away cookies? Maybe it's like a holiday. I'm not sure where this is, but that's kind of a funny one. Okay. Oh, look, it's a guitar forest. Wow. Why would someone do that? That's so cool, though. Oh my gosh, what are these? I wish that it was 3D everywhere. Like I'd love to get like a little 3D of a tree here, but you don't seem to want to do that, but that's really cool. It's not even labeled, just literally in the middle. Look at that, in the middle of nowhere, someone made a giant guitar. I'm gonna be honest, if we can make a guitar like that, it's so detailed, we could probably make crop circles. All right, that's that's probably just proved that we could make it. Okay. Okay, now this one brings up a lot of questions. Before we talk about the motorcycle, or before we talk about the penguin riding a bicycle, Western Australia, why you guys got a full beach right here and not a person on it? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, there's, there's a dude. Soul Adventure here. Is there a shark warning? Is that a guy? There's like two people on the whole beach. What the heck? Yeah, but anyway, what in the world is going on down here? <laughs> we got a, it looks like, what the heck is a baby penguin on a big unicycle? This is really strange. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the fact that they blurred out the penguin shirt and not the head, what was on that penguin shirt that we weren't meant to see? 
conspiracy. First location that we have to go to before we discover the weirdest thing on earth is called Tall Lake over in the Philippines. And if you zoom in, this weird lake is a lake with an island in it with another lake inside the island with an island in the lake within the lake. This is just weird. What the heck, dude? I've never seen anything like this. So it's actually a giant volcano that is now an island, it turns out. But there's an island in it. Let's get down there and take a little investigation here. We got Teal Lake, got a little volcano. Oh, look at this. So we got it 3D now. So you can see that this volcano is quite large. Oh, here we go. We're going to get a view of it. We're going to get a street view view of the island within an island within an island. Oh, okay. Well, hello there. Uh, did not expect to intrude on your home. Y'all just set up a shop on the side of a volcano? Well, there it is. I mean, you really can't see it too well from here, but Tall Lake is unbelievable, guys. Uh, oh, a heavy trip over to West, Southwest America. And what the crap is this? It's a giant triangle in the middle of nowhere. It's called the perfect triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why is all the weird stuff literally in the middle of the desert? It doesn't matter where you go in the desert, there's always something weird. Who literally went to the desert and said, Hey, yo, let's build a giant triangle here and get people to come. There's, there's not even, a, there's nothing around. This is it. This looks like the spot of my future house because it's in Ohio. It's near Cleveland. It's a heart lake. This is, this is like wildly sick to me. Like, I love this. Look down. He's got a gate. Of course he does. Look at that thing right there. Oh my God. Y'all got so much money to be out here with a literal gate. Is it a gate you could just walk around though? So it turns out your gate really isn't doing much. It's honestly just a weird flex because I could, I could just walk in there. Let's not forget the fact that not only do they have a heart lake in this property, they also got what appears to be some sort of like giant ancient Egyptian Roman ruins right here. And then you scroll over, you'll get a full court basketball court. And don't men freaking mention the entire lake in your backyard with a lighthouse in it. Is that a lighthouse in your backyard? If I get enough money, I'll buy this property. Y'all have my word for it right now. I will buy this for you and I will make it happen. All right, we are making some serious progress here today towards our weirdest thing on Google Earth. And uh, our next coordinates are on screen and we're going to Africa, zooming in the middle of the desert to, uh, oh, what the heck? this is weird. So this is a flight memorial again, just in the middle of apparently the desert. Is that what this is? I can't tell because it's it, it's like the, it's like they blurred out everything around here. So I'm not really sure, but I guess it's to commemorate some flight. Does it have, is there any details on this? That's whoa. That is not how this looks from the sky. It's just like a little teepee. I would assume this flight crashed here or something like that. Literally just in the middle of the desert. Now I'm not sure what this is. Apparently this is my notes say it's a place from a horror movie called The Shining. First off, let's zoom out and get to context. Y'all building on top of Mount Hood. Is that a volcano? This looks like a ski trail. That is a ski trail. Okay, back to this. Let's get in there with like a little first person view and take a look at it. See if it looks creepier down here. <laughs> oh my God, that looks horrifying. Y'all kidding me? The white sky, the white snow. Look at these windows. It's like whoever designed this said, hey guys, let's take the creepiest building ever and make it real. And of course a horror movie was fun. Doesn't make sense. This is creepy. I don't like this one. We're getting out of here. I feel like there's bad vibes in that place. This is called the Mahara Yara, a volcano in Japan, an active volcano. Oh dude, look at the size of that hole. Look how deep it is. Holy. Yes, finally, dude, we got a street view. Hopefully I can look into it. This is called the, the look out. We can see how deep this hole really is. Okay. I, I feel like honestly, you could have got a little closer here with this. That's it. You can't get any closer. There's no closer road. Like it's just, it's not exactly that close. Like you have a lot of space here to look into the giant hole. Look at, look at this road. I, mean, I, I don't know. Actually, it's really hard to tell the scale. I feel like it's massive. Dude, if that thing erupted, dude, the whole island is just from the volcano, isn't it? That's pretty cool. I like that. Got to look at this, which looks like a giant meteor crash site. And it is. Whoa. That's so cool. There's a meteor crater visitor center. Imagine a meteor flying through space for literally like trillions of years to crash and for humans to go. Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's get a visitor center out there by that little guy. Like, just think about that. His whole life flying just to be a tourist center attraction for, by the way, what appears to be a pretty solid big building. Is this what made the dinosaurs go extinct? Yo, we can get a street view in the meteor. Finally, a decent street view. Thank you, Google. Oh my gosh. It's like a planet, bro. Where's the meteor at? Wait, if there's a meteor hit here, where is it? Shouldn't it like, shouldn't there be meteor particles or something? Or am I dumb? I don't know. That's pretty sick. I love this. All right, zooming out again, getting even closer to finding the weirdest thing on earth. And, and if it's weirder than these, I don't see how it's possible, but oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. It's a rainbow spring. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. The giant prismatic spring. Do we have a street view? We're going in the spring. How could you have gotten this view? Google, you literally, how, how do we get this view? You're standing in the center of a so, oh, there's a bridge. Okay. Bro, this just seems like, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like this would dissolve your body. And the lack of railings here gives me a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> Look at this guy. He saw him walk by and flexed. We finally found something funny. Look at this guy. Going to the Netherlands now. It's a star fort, bro. This is sick. Okay. This looks wildly more impressive from the top. When you get down here, you realize you wouldn't even notice it. How, what? That's it? Is there no better view of this thing? How is there a freaking giant star with a moat and you go down in a first person view down here on street view and you, it's literally just gone? This is the most unimpressive, uninspiring thing I've ever seen. It's like an illusion. The heck, Netherlands? Australia, right in the center. 
This is borderline, I- okay, wow, what the heck, that is a big boy. That is literally in the center of Australia, pretty much, like, who even got here? All right, we're gonna get in street view right now and take a look at how big this rock is, because- because my confu- oh my gosh, this looks like a video game. Whoa, Australia, I didn't know you had a big rock like this. This looks crazy. Why isn't movies filmed here? This is sick. There's, like, nobody here. There's, like, four cars, the world's biggest rock. Where is the line between rock and mountain? And it's broken. Is this all considered the rock? I feel like this is something I would enjoy. Is that a swimming pool? Seems like a top secret government thing. Let's get in there. Can't. I don't know. That looks like a weird government thing to me. All right. Each one of these seems like it's getting kind of like weird now because we just saw the world's largest rock. Now, apparently we're going to see the world's largest pool. Imagine how, is that a boat in the pool? You got a boat in the pool? Can you imagine how much pee is in this? Okay. Well, that's not really a uh, street view. I'm not even, this is a helicopter view. I didn't even know this was a thing. This is so big. That I'm definitely a jet ski and I have no idea how we got this view here, but look at this. Is this like the same hotel or like multiple hotels connected to the same pool? Like something weird is happening, bro. Imagine how inferior you must feel to be this guy or this guy who tried to make a big pool and then got absolutely roasted here. The Potash Ponds in Utah. It's a mine in San Juan County, Utah. Okay. Oh, oh come on. How are we talking about the mine, which I wouldn't have even noticed when you have these giant pools of what appears to be incredibly toxic chemicals here. What were you guys mining for here? And why is the water rainbow? This looks like you guys like dug out your own Grand Canyon here and then decided to paint blue water and put it next to it. What is this? What is a potash pond? Why is it so blue? And why is this one yellow? And why, why are they different colors? I need answers. And what the heck is Elvis Rock? Okay. All right, guys, look, Utah people, I think we're taking it too far with the tourist attractions. I won't lie to you guys. We especially looked for heart things, I'm thinking, because this one sounds like a heart themed island in Croatia. Uh, okay, we can't get on the island for some reason, but we can look at it from the water. Who on Google said, yo, I'm gonna take a boat ride around the island, not on it. Oh, it's because it looks, okay. It's just, it, you can't really go. There's nothing there. It just is an island. That's it. Where even is Croatia, bro? What is this part of the world? I didn't even realize these islands existed. If you went to an American school, tell me right now you've ever seen anything like this in your life on Google Maps. Never. All right, all my notes say on our next journey. Is it the next one? Looks like a hole that goes to the center of the world. <laughs> Okay. How did someone find this? Where, what? Bro, that's a sick looking river and there's a lot of water here. Like, to be honest, this is pretty crazy. Looks like some like weird alien stuff. Like this doesn't even look like earth anymore. But what is this? This looks like a giant, like a literal giant human just went and like stuck his finger into the world. Here's one of the views on this creepy ship right here. I don't know about you guys, but I feel, I feel like I see something back here. It looks like it's sticking out a little bit right there. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised that there was actually a ghost inside of this area. But speaking of ghosts, what about this giant target in the middle of the desert? No. I don't need the shopping center target. I mean, literally a target. All right, look, look at this. Look at how far away you can see this from. Like, I'm not really sure how high we are, but however high this is, you can see this target. Is it pointing towards something? Like, what if we like follow this? Like, it, like, is it a compass? This points to more rocks. Oh, what do we have here? A secret military base. Look at that. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yellow. Oh, the target leads to something. All right. And then what, what's, uh, let's, let's go straight down. Where does it take us? It takes us to Wagahoogie Peak down here. That's so exciting. Area 51 is pretty interesting, but did you know that it's recently been updated on Google Earth. You've probably not seen the newest shots taken of Area 51. You can even get Street View. All right, you can't do Street View. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. That's obviously a hangar for alien spaceships. A little bit blurry here. I mean, I'm looking for anything here that says, hey, we got aliens. Like, oh, forgot to put the alien away when they took the screenshots of this from space. Bro, I don't know. Looks like some sort of a mine. There's nothing in here. There's no aliens anywhere, dude. It looks so boring. We found this abandoned ship in the middle of the ocean. Now, I just went snorkeling in an abandoned shipwreck in the middle of the Bahamas. Go follow me on Instagram at Loverfella to see those pictures. But take a look at this. It's the SS Jasmine. What's interesting about this is it's a tourist attraction in Sudan. I'm going to show you guys the one that I just went swimming with. A few moments later. Oh, we found it. This is the one I went freaking snorkeling at. Now, this is interesting because I bet none of you even knew this was here. This is the SS Bimini concrete ship designed for World War One. Got destroyed by a hurricane and was also used. Look, someone's there snorkeling now. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy here. It's called Armageddon. Okay, these are the symbols for the end of the world designed by the Church of Scientology, and you do have the Church of Spiritual Technology here. Something real menacing about that. Something about these two little diamond-looking eyeballs. You pop these right on SpongeBob's face, looks like SpongeBob looking at diamonds. Something about that doesn't feel good. Speaking of not feeling good, this is a bush in Italy, which looks like Italy itself. What are the odds of this forming naturally? Nobody knows. Nobody knows if this little church woke up one day and said, hey guys, let's go develop a giant boot outside in a giant boot. Like, did they plan this, or was this just serendipitous? Did it just happen? Oh, it does look intentional because we got this little island here. Anyway, here's a fish out of water. Something you probably don't see every- oh. That's just not the description I expected. Where are we? How did someone find this? Who is this man? Oh, we're at the Bavarian State Opera in probably Germany. Here is a sunk 
sunken car, much like the sunken empire England used to have. How this got in the middle of the ocean uh, is tough to say. No, that's a creek. That's pretty far in. And there's like a, also an abandoned crash boat here. This thing's full of, look at that. It looks like the moon. It's like an actual moon inside of this creek. Where is this located? Small Hope Bay Lodge. It's gotta be the Bahamas. This is literally next to where I just was. I swam with sharks, guys. Here's some aliens on a building. This feels very not American. Where exactly is this? Aiden? Is this a country? Where is Africa? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like in America, they don't really teach you this part of the world exists. You just don't learn about it. I didn't know that. I don't even know that's a country. Here's Penguin Island though. Look at this little guy having a little fun stroll down, huh? Their boat. Wow, there's just a whole herd of humans here. I just might as well call it Human Island instead of Penguin Island, huh? Anyway, this whale sighting will blow your mind. It's actually a whale in Google Earth. That's really cool. Now, while we're here, wait, where is this? Wow, how do you even get here? Is there a city here? Like people live here? Whoa, 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 whoa. They speak English? Welcome to Kuma Ricky Ricky, local Rapa Nuji artist. Bro, I wanna go here. This looks really cool. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Wow, this one obviously is a man in a tree. Whoa, there's an airplane in a tree. Man, everyone's got one of these guys, don't they? As their neighbor. Like this just feels like it's Ohio. Cause like Ohio, like genuinely I would drive down the road and there would just be someone that just has this in his yard. Like, oh, hanging bicycles, airplane in a tree. Why not? But actually this is in South Carolina. Surprisingly not Ohio. You've seen planes and trees, but how about cars and trees? This one's even more questionable because at least a plane could have crashed. How does this get here? I mean, some things you just don't question. You see a car in your tree and you appreciate it, all right? This is a ghost hotel. Uh, this room apparently only had one person in it ever, but it appears as though there's a ghost inside of this window. Very interesting. You can see a kettle. You can see a smell of mildew in this room. You can see a carpet from the 90s yet to be changed. This smells like your grandma's house. You walk in there and you say, oh, we're at Granny's for a couple of days. I'm about to cry because it stinks here. Anyway, here's a volcano erupting. We zoom in very closely. We should be able to see lava. There's a little tidbit. Oh, cool. That'll burn you up, right? I'll take you right out. You step foot in that in South Sudan, you're done for. Speaking of, whoa, this feels like, it is Ohio. Bro, I was about to say, this literally feels like an Ohio thing. Like I, I, I knew it. But look at this. Actually got a Batmobile here. Yeah. Like this is the type of thing in Ohio you would just see. Like you would just like drive down. Like this guy just having this old car in his garage. Like, you know what? I bet if we went down the street, we would find something really weird just like that because it's Ohio. Like I'll, I'll click one more time. Guarantee we'll see something weird. See, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You go down the street and you see a male lady just about to get run over by a Nissan truck. Like, she ain't even looking at that thing. That thing's moving. You know what I mean? You go to the next frame and they're both gone. Good chance that she was hit right there, you know, unfortunately. Coming at you with a ghost town, but it's just ghosts. You get it? Because it's not actually a ghost town. Now, well, there's no explanation for this, to be honest, but there are a lot of people here that, that came here to see this, it seems. Is that really all it takes? Like, if you live in the middle of nowhere and you want to make some money, you just put a couple ghost statues up and people will just flock to it. Like, why are there so many tourists here? There ain't no way this is interesting. It's like a fire pit. I can't explain that to you. You've seen a car in a tree, an airplane in a tree, but how about a man in a tree? Oh, it's really pretty. I like all the colors. I'm not sure any idea where we are, but I like it. I'm not sure what that dude's climbing a tree. So this is a subliminal station. So uh, it's supposed to feel like you're in a dream. It doesn't feel like a good dream, whatever it is. Uh, those robots up there, what, what, what is that? Why would you put those at the end of a creepy hallway? Like it looks like you're about to be like murdered by two Pokemon trainers. How are you supposed to get through here, man? They're gonna duel you every time. The world's smallest McDonald's. What? Opening soon. What is it? A porta potty? You can't just pop a McDonald's sign in the middle of nowhere and call it McDonald's unless you actually sell burgers. Uh, no. Now, this is a panda cruise. Wait, what? This is so many pandas. Wow, they look like they're having so fun, though. You know what? I'm happy for them. You guys enjoy the panda cruise and have fun. We're rocking here with Triangle Island, folks. This is the sickest island out there. It's literally a triangle with nothing in the center. Bro, look, there's like little mini islands on the island. Whoa. Mr. Beast, can I compete to own Triangle Island? Because I got some ideas. Over here, this looks like a great area. Oh, look, someone already owns it. Dang it. Never mind. This is a tiny cafe. I don't know if you can actually buy drinks from it, but like maybe I just take things too literally. But I feel like there could be someone in there crouching with like coffees and they stick their arm out and give it to you. Anyway, here's some big baby heads. Big old boys right there. I'll tell you right now, someone works at city council that's friends with like a failing artist because they make things like this. They were like, yo, we'll buy them, but you got to shut up about 
You know, you gotta shut up about your art. Is this in Madrid, Spain? Spain got the big baby heads? Ain't no way. All right, we're rocking with a totally normal Shrek here. Nothing about this feels uncomfortable. Is this Ohio? No, it's Massachusetts. Okay, so you've got Shrek, this super sketchy kiosk. Everything about this freaks me out. This whole thing feels so sketchy. Like, I don't know, ma'am. Now, Antarctica is an interesting one, but you can see a actual face in the snow here. You've got your mouth, your nose, your eyeballs. But as you look around Antarctica, you'll see there are areas that are just randomly blurred as if they're hiding something from us. You know what I mean? Why is this so blurry? Maybe there's just no mountains here. You know, something's going on down here, folks. Something's going on. This is the global seed unit where like, if there's like doomsday, we need to have like backup seeds for some reason. So they're all in this little tiny vault that's in the wall. It's interesting to me, all right, that we have a seed storage area, but I just wonder how would I get there if I'm in Ohio and this is literally across the world? Like, how am I gonna get here to save the world when I survive? You slowly zoom in on this shore located on this very interesting island in the Philippines. You will notice a skull hidden inside of the river. This is scary because it could mean the giants used to roam our planet. And this might not be a sand reef, but it actually might be a skull of a giant or it's a sand reef, I don't know. What if we told you we found a real life Iron Man in Google Earth, guys. Just sitting on top of some dude's like house, shop, restaurant. What is this? Like, honestly, if I had to guess as to where we were, I don't know. I'd say probably somewhere in Europe. All right. That's all I'm going to have to. That's all I can say off of that. And it looks like I'm really wrong. We're actually somehow uh, in Asia. No, this one is probably a shot you've never seen because somehow the Google Earth man was jumping from a parachute or paragliding or something like what? what? Since when did Google Earth people get to do this? He's just flying over the landscape. Dude decided it was too hard to walk. So he started flying and put a piranha plant on his shirt. What is that? Is that a pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies? Is this guy just in all of them? Look at the size of that thing. God dang. I don't know what's more impressive, this or the mountain range. I mean, dude, that should be honestly considered a weapon. This one's actually called the child eater. And somehow, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's actually a man eating babies. I didn't think we'd see that either today, to be honest. That wasn't what I thought I'd be seeing when I woke up. All right, this one's the black ghost. I don't know why, but I want to say, I, I want to say this is in Maine. But the fact that it's called the Black Ghost of Kalapalabala for, from Fado Wada Voodoo Oda Vodal Soli uh, tells me it might be in Sweden. That's just a guess. I'm gonna be real honest. Let's see. Am I in Sweden? If is this is this in the Netherlands? I don't know because I can't zoom out for some reason on the map. It doesn't let me. This I'm just gonna assume it's Sweden and say that I'm right. This is a frog fountain. And honestly, I'm not even sure how my team and I found this one, but come on. By the way, if you guys have ever seen something that I'm showing you in this video, drop a comment. But look at this thing. Just out here squirting up little waters, little baby frogs around. That's pretty cool. This is a flying rabbit. Now, I mean, I'm not sure if he got hit by a car or if rabbits are capable. Of, no, it couldn't have been a car. This is like a bike path to me. Can a car fit on this road? Like, what is that? It looks like a little antenna. Oh, that does look like an antenna though from a car. Does that mean the Google car hit a bunny and launched it? There's no way a bunny could jump that high, right? By the way, guys, I want to let you know if this video manages to get 100 subscribers, then we're going to go find 100 Google Earth places the next time we do this video. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see it. But if they look like this, I don't know if I want to see it. Why does that look like a giant spider? This is like frightening, dude. Where is this? Is this Vietnam? Bro, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know where this is. I will never go. It's in Taiwan. Okay, now I know, guys. We're not going to Taiwan. This is a Google Earth car crash, and honestly, it's not that bad. <laughs> this poor dude, he's like, yo, you're gonna get me fired if my boss sees this. Poor guy looks absolutely defeated. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what the crap? How are you just casually driving by what looks like Armageddon? Like, this thing looks like it's, looks like molten lava is, is, is burning off of this. Google Earth guy's like, yo, I got a job to do, man. Hold on. This looks like a dude putting asphalt on the ground. Is this asphalt that caught fire? I have no idea. Here's a a fallen child and <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like some kid fell down <laughs> You do that. That's a bad fall, too. I mean, it looks like right on the elbow. Got a little bit of a elbow collision right there. Obviously, friend making fun of her and another friend sprinting down. Could have been a race, potentially. Is that Dr. Phil? We are in Santa Carantina, Nuevo Leon. America education sucks. I don't even know this was a place. Now, I'm going to play a little game of I Spy with you, all right? I Spy a weird face. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't really let you play. But what the heck? Where is this? This is in Kanoa, Manabe. Whoa. It's like actually beautiful here. I've never heard of this place. What? But, uh, wow, just got a little thing. Now, I didn't know this, but, uh, there are penguin crossings, like, in certain places. Like, in, in Ortago Omaru, there's penguin crossings, all right? That's pretty wild. I would assume very few of you live in this city, so I don't think any of you know how to say it either. Because if there's penguin crossings, can there be that many people? Where... 
You know what I mean? Like if you got a penguin population, the people population is low. So most likely nobody knows how to say the city either. So I'm good. Okay, I don't. I have no idea. What? Does this say no Spider-Man pooping? He's wearing a diaper? Huh? Do they have like a cosplayer that keeps pooping on the street and they had to put a sign up? Like, yo, my dude, chill. Someone tell me what Delarn Blong Air Basar means. Just a big old fat arrow in the middle of nowhere. Where is this? Oh, United Kingdom. They just came and said they want a giant arrow. Well, let's, I'm going to click that link again because I want to see like, is that, is that like actually pointing towards something? It's pointing this way. If we're going to keep following it, what do we hit? Nothing nothing. It's pointing down here, which is uh, still part of England. Wow, England, y'all are big. Do you own this England? Isle of Man, who owns this? Is it England? Is it, is it Northern Ireland? Is it Scotland? This seems kind of like a battle royale location. Like whoever get, whoever's come here gets the best items or something. Wow, is that guy riding a dog? Yeah, he's riding a St. Bernard, isn't he? He's just riding it with a macho a little, a little wrestling match. Oh, dude, this looks like where Breaking Bad was recorded. It is, it's in Utah. Is that his camper? Yo, these guys are doing illegal activities. And what is this? There's a lot of sketchy stuff out here, but what? I mean, he had to have been ready for this moment, right? Like, or he was just doing this already? Plastic bags? What? They're decorating the... Are they... Why are these decorations in plastic bags? Is this Disney? What is, what is going on here? What is this? Someone explain why these are in bags. This doesn't make any sense. I was going to say it's a COVID thing, but no one has a mask on, so I have no clue what that is. This is just an excavator digging in the water. I mean, he's just in, the, in, just in there. What the? That can't be good, can it? I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to do two more, and then what I'm going to do is actually go see, click on a random spot and see if it's someone's house. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty weird. Freaking giant face statue. Whoa, ice place. Got a little ice demon. Little ice pitchforks. Got some nice good old ice on the ceiling. This is good for a person like me who loves the cold. I love it when it's icy. I cannot be cold enough. Like, it's snowing outside. I'm going to go on my balcony and just... I love icy air, dude. It just hits the nostrils in a way that nothing else can. All right, this is a Disney car. That's weird. Now let's go ahead and return to the map, and I'm going to see if I can guess where one of you lives. All right, guys, we're going to start zooming in now. I'm going into Atlanta. If you're in Atlanta, start paying attention right now, and we're going to go up here. Oh, just kidding. We're going down here. And Oh, no, we're over on this side. All right, we're going into Sweet Clear Creek Parts, whatever this is. And if you live... On this road, Oak Drive, in this single house right here. Let's get down there and take a look at that bad boy. 1635. If this is your house and you live here, drop a comment down below. Tell me why you got this car in your living your front driveway. Wouldn't that be weird if one of you lived there? Uh, I really don't have any way to explain what this is and why the Google man decided to put his camera so close. Did he do why why? Why? Peppa Pig World? There's a place called Peppa Pig World. Bro, if I have a child and they want to go to Peppa Pig World instead of Disneyland, I will don't know what I'll do, but I'll probably leave them. This guy, you know. This is a guy who can think on his feet. He saw the Google car coming down the street. He had a nice view of it. You know, he's like, oh, that's a Google car. Let me do something funny. Bam, traffic cone on the head. I mean, this is an intelligent thinker. What does this guy got? A couple skis, a couple sticks. Black Mountain Lodge. This is a ski resort. Huh. Could be, could be. That's a smart man though. Very well done, sir. What? <laughs> What the crap? Google, I don't know what you guys did on this one, but maybe, maybe don't do that again, huh? This poor guy really thought, he really thought, I'm gonna be in this Google. I'm gonna, he put so much effort into standing there and freaking his head got turned into a little nub. Oh, these are getting absolutely insane, guys. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe. What is this? What are we even looking at? Sus man in the fort. Is that, that is a man. There's a man hiding in the woods. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. We got a kidnapping on this one. This guy, why is he just casually standing there? He's like, oh, that kid's getting kidnapped into what appears to be a taxi. Oh, that's right. That's right. Deposing, because it's probably fake. Okay. Now, what? Huh? What? 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 They're just in someone's backyard interrupting the middle of a Lion King ritual. Yo, those are some freaking lemons, dude. Are those lemons? Can lemons get that large? That's the size of like a watermelon. That's a water lemon. Oh my goodness. I'd love to have something like that. I love looking at people's houses. I'm not going to lie. Like you can look at this. You got a little dude up here creeping. We might be the only people ever that have seen this guy. And I love that. I love to think about that. I see his coffee cup here. I see maybe some cereal. I just love looking at people's stuff. Like let's get in here. I can't really see because of that glare. Bucket of large fish. Um... I mean, it definitely does appear as though these guys are wearing ski masks and they're not skiing. Could it be that these guys are actual robbers caught in the in the middle of robbing? This feels very England to me, doesn't it? I mean, look at these houses. Look at these guys. They're so bricky. So so much brick. The hedges. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I just did. <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> feel like my feel like my nose really undersold what I was about to see. That's actually uh very disgusting. <laughs> You see it so casually. It's just people on a stick. Motorbike gymnast. Wait, whoa. These sound like the guys that drive down the street I live on at 3 a.m. every night and rev their motorcycles and think they're gonna get girls just because they have a loud car. Guess what, guys? No girl care that your car is loud. Okay? They don't. 
So stop waking me up at 3 a.m. to rev your stupid $20 motorcycle that, that it, by the way, isn't even a good motorcycle. Snoopy. Whoa! It is Snoopy. Well, more golf courses should like actually put effort into designing stuff like that. And this one is something that nobody's ever been able to explain, but there's a bunch of these like holes all over the land near the Grand Canyon. The only current accepted explanation is that these are from ants. But what's weird to me is if you zoom in, they kind of look like bushes and trees. Are those trees or bushes? Is it grass? What's the scale here, man? I don't know because I can't get in there to investigate this to figure out the truth. I'll tell you this though. This looks like giant waves of water rushed across the land and created a ripple effect of a bunch of water. It looks like water rushes down, spreads out, major amounts of water push it here. I still can't explain these little dots, but I did discover there's big water flow here. The Nevada Circle Farms. Interestingly, I believe I flew over these once. Can someone explain why are they circle farms? Are they automated, I'm guessing, or something? To all you uneducated conspiracy theorists out there, the circles are not Google censoring secret stuff. It sounds like something that an FBI agent would say to censor secret stuff. Andy says you won't get in because you'll be surrounded by Apache helicopters and Humvees. Well, why would they surround this with F-16s if it wasn't secret military stuff. And if this went all the way around, why would it stop? Oh, it's because there's a road maybe? Then that's just bad design by the owners or it's a Pac-Man shaped <laughs> alien spaceship. This is a lip forest, which some say looks like a pair of lips. Some would say it looks like something else, but we'll just call it the pair of lips in the lip forest. And uh, I mean, kind of stupid, but it is there. Apparently people are graffitiing an active volcano. Oh wow, they actually are. And that's not the kind of graffiti I thought it would be. What? That looks like ancient Mayan civilization technology, right? This to me is a giant bird. All right, it's gonna kill us. Let's see if we got anything interesting here though. Maya, that's the name of the producer. That's why she picked this video. Her name was in here. Do we have a Zach? Bro, Jesus was here? Oh my God. This is Heart Island. I thought this was in England. I don't know if it is or not. That's kind of nice. You know, a little bit of a Heart Island. Is there anything on it? Any like secret FBI agent alien stuff going on in here? I mean, it's pretty empty. Couple boats coming to shore. There is a dock and it looks like we have a trail of wheels that lead all the way up to here, but there's nothing. There's no buildings, no civilization, no beach homes, no beach goers. Perhaps a secret underground lair where they're storing the UFOs. I'm convinced we're going to find a UFO today before this video ends. Apparently somebody found Siren Head here in Nevada. Lincoln Highway right in the middle. I mean, it looks real. Now I got to go test it and see. I'm going to see if I can do this based on what I just saw there. It is not going to be easy. Nevada. What are the cities? Stillwater. This is really hard. Hey, there's Mount Augusta. Middle gate. Right at middle gate. It's right at middle gate. It's right here. It's this road. This is the road they found Siren Head at. So I found the road. Now we're going to see if it's actually in Google Earth. Then you'll know if this is actually a real thing or not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's nothing here. Bro, I literally clicked on this exact location. Let me double check that that's where I clicked. I saw that black thing. Bro, what the heck? Did I get clickbaited by this guy? Where's Siren Head? I'm at the right location. I know I am. I'm mad. This is uh, the human lake in Brazil, and it's a man-made lake that looks like a human. It even oh has a little pee pee right God. there, but I'm trying to figure out why? It's so weird. It's also very uneven. Like the bro's got a thick right leg, skinny left leg. I mean, wow, look at all these farms too, man. They're so wavy and curvy. Brazilians don't make straight lines. They just zigzag it everywhere. This is the Shamrock Maze. It says outside the Dublin airport, you can find the Shamrock and it actually is a real maze. Let's see if we can solve it here. I would go this way. All right, we're gonna go left, go up this way. We're already up to here. Wrap it around town, bring it around this way, this way, this way. I, I don't know exactly if that's like blocked off or what, but that would be my solution. It's very simple to solve. Outside of Munich, you have this interesting art here. Uh, oh, deep. I guess you would have had to start right here. Go over it, bring it back and then stop. Oh, you would start down here. Interesting. Why make that a farm when you can just turn it into a giant swirly thing right there that you can only see from outer space? This is literally called the Inaccessible Island. That's what it's called. And yet if you zoom in, there is a house on Inaccessible Island. What in the world? Look at this thing. It is just a giant cliff of nothingness. Like this is crazy. Honestly, it seems like a pretty low key sick island if you came here. This one's called the Flooded Path. All I was told is turn around for a surprise, so. Oh, what, what, why are we running through this? this? Why are we driving through this? Nothing here seems like we should be driving right now. Bro, they're attacking the Google car. Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at how close they are. Look how close he, oh, the bulls guy is totally separated from the pack and he's back. Oh, he just, he just chased us down. Here's a crashed airplane that we found. This one is kind of on the side of the road next to this airport. I don't know if it's actually crashed though, or you know, wouldn't it have blown up more or do they just like park it there and forget about it? This is a really tiny airport. Where's the runway? Oh, maybe it's this thing. I bet that's the runway. Well, how'd y'all get a big boy here? Did it actually 
actually crash? Desert Prada, middle of nowhere. They actually seem to be stocked as well, which is even weirder. Does nobody steal from it? You would think if there's literally nobody around, somebody would come and steal something. That's amazing. These are scarily low clouds, which is kind of odd. Like this is like literally like below the mountain level. Just like, a, a, it's weird to me to see clouds that low. Like sometimes I see them and I think, are these secret government cloaking devices to hide secret government spacecraft? Perhaps. This is Google Earth allowing you to now start to explore underwater though, because they sent a diver in the water. I think that I can go in here. It doesn't even look real. Oh, wow. That is cool. And you have a watermark at the bottom? We need more Google Earth underwater. Look at that. We need way more of this. Why is there only a few shots? There's only like five locations in this entire area. You guys got the entire ocean to do and you stopped at five. Guys, you're slacking here. Look at this. Y'all could go uncover everything down here. Wow, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, look at this. Mario Luigi car. 100%. I'll tell you right now, this looks like England. Gray sky, weird looking bushes and uh, brick houses. It's gotta be England. Oh, it looks like a pizza delivery car, to be honest. That thing will be bussing. Oh, look at these little guys. What? Why did they call the horse's eyelashes out? Nobody call out this thing. Yo, we found a cat with two legs. I think that's a new species we discovered. I don't think anybody's seen this. It's like a hybrid rabbit cat owl looking thing with a tail coming out of its neck. Exotic. This is an island called Ashima Island. They say it's been abandoned and nobody knows why. And it does appear to be totally dilapidated. Look at this. It looks like an earthquake or a tsunami hit it. Can we get in there? We can. We're gonna get a close up look here of what is going on in this island here. Whoa. Wow, this island is destroyed. I would say it was either a a nuke or it was a blood. It's hard to say what, you know what I mean? I mean, that's that to me looks like nuclear bomb damage. That's absolutely insane. If anyone knows a story about the island's empty, I'll be very curious. Let's see what this guy found here. We are zooming in on some kind of beach city. Bro, what is that? A freaking what? A sea monster? Hold on. Where where even is this? That's the problem. I don't even know what this country is. It, something about it looks fake, but something about it looks real. I feel like the weird squares around it feel real to me, but then the shadow doesn't. Because wouldn't it have casted a shadow that's not so thick? Anyway, here's a creepy office. Take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Looks like something you'd find in Epstein's Island right here. Like there's a one-way mirror, Epstein and Bill Gates are back. I don't know, bro. It's creepy. Speaking of creepy, look at this. They got inside of a haunted house somehow and like, what? Is that a child or is that a doll? Why is that specific thing blurred? Oh, what the heck? Is that a double-headed kid? Is that a real person or does he have two faces? Wow, look at that. It even has the old Instagram logo. This thing must be so old. Yo, someone connect. We've got their password. This guy discovered something hidden in Little Island above Antarctica. What do we have here? Oh, very tiny island. Okay, okay, okay. Volcano Island? Oh, we're going into the island, okay. Oh, Jeffrey Epstein's second island, bro. I didn't know he had so many on Google Earth. That is creepy. The Google Earth guy never made it out of this one, which is why there's only one photo of this island. This one's in North Korea, even the most dangerous we've seen today somehow. It is creepy how empty it is, dude. It's kind of cool architecture though. Someone risked their life for this photo. Like literally, I think they actually probably did. And this is the second one I found in North Korea. It's in a North Korean nuclear submarine. How did we get this? Google Earth, what? We got an actual photosphere in a nuke submarine, bro. It looks like there's no way. That's got me baffled. I don't know how they got that one snuck out. I mean, that's life-threatening right there. They claim to have discovered Atlantis. So far, I don't see an underwater city, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's gonna actually zoom in for us. There's definitely like some statues here, but a city? It's something, dude. It's something. There's definitely human bodies, statues down here, but like, it's not a city. All right, so this is a YouTube short. This guy claims to have actually discovered the Titanic in Google Maps or in Google Earth. Like that's, that doesn't even look real. Are you like, you tell me that they actually went down there and got it? Because the last people I know went there didn't come back up. Luckily for you guys, we're actually going to test the exact coordinates that guy showed because we tracked it down. So let's see if the Titanic's in Google Earth. I've never heard of this. I feel like I would have. And by the way, I never knew where it crashed. Is this where it crashed? I ain't seeing no Titanic, folks. Could be a fake video, but if this are the exact coordinates where it did crash, I never realized it was like kind of like close to like Canada. Like I just always assumed it was like no, just like, I don't know, North Pole or something. This is a rotating island. Okay. It's a real island that moves over time. We're going to see where it's at and it kind of just like, you know, just moves around in a little ocean hole. Oh, it's down here. Zoom in right in. Let's see where she's at today, folks. And oh, it's real. It's called El Ojo and Ojo means I in Spanish. That's very cool. So if you guys look at it after this video, tell me if yours is in the same spot as mine. Now this website talks about different types of sand dunes. So we actually went out and discovered all different types. There's blue sand dunes, red sand dunes, and blood sand dunes. These are really cool. Now this next one's very cool. It's a little something I like to call Worm Island and it is an island of a worm. There's nothing on it. It's just a giant barren island of sand with like a little bit of shrubbery and it's literally in the middle of nothing. Where even is this? 
this. This has got to be, this got to be England, right? It feels like England. It is close enough to England that you might as well just call it England. But weirder still is this very unexplained green dot at these coordinates all the way over here on the southern coast of Australia. And as you zoom in, you can see it is actually, in fact, there. This green dot does exist. The side of a mountain, very bright. I know they use lights, like red lights to fish, like certain fish are attracted, but I don't know what this could be. Door to hell. This is located in Turkmenistan. And I genuinely did not know that was a country. So this will be fun just to see where we're heading to. Okay, right in the center of it. Bam, perfect circle. Now there's a little bit of fire spitting out of this, a little bit of a ghost. You can see an eyeball there and there. Definitely a little arm on the side. So it's scary, but I gotta be honest, it's a little scarier when you actually see this. It's a burning natural gas field. It just burns forever. Now this website also talks about something called the ancient city of Myra first discovered in 2009. It is a heritage museum in Demir, Turkey. Let's take a look at this. Never heard of it before. You're telling me, hold on, wait a minute. Hold up, stop. Stop. This was just discovered in 2009, Turkey. What are we doing? This is literally like 10 feet away from the ocean and there's an entire city built here. Did y'all just run out of farmland and just keep going? You're like, oh, there's a giant Asian city here. What? How did you miss this? Look at the size of this thing. This is massive. I guess maybe it was buried. They had to dig it up. I just, to me, this is baffling. It's literally massive. Y'all didn't find a hidden city. Dracula also has a castle, apparently. On weird Google Earth here, it shows us Dracula's castle in the distance. If I had to guess, this would be located in probably like Denmark or Sweden or something or like somewhere in Europe. It's gotta be. Yep, that's right. That's what I said, Sweden. Here we go. All right. Whoa, you're telling me somebody actually lived in this place? Like some some guy. Yeah, it's kind of a tight walkway. I don't know. It's like definitely not made for, for big boys, but I get lost in here, bro. It's creepy. Medieval torture instruments. Oh, it's got torture devices in here. Well, that's a little bit disturbing. Very interesting. This is uh, somebody claims to have discovered Michael Jackson in Poland. So this guy, yep, that's definitely him. All right, we got a really interesting one here. My favorite animal at the zoo is red pandas, but that's not what we're looking at. We're actually looking at a reindeer, all right? Wild reindeers found all the way up here in North Carolina. Oh, there they are. They're right next. Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, dude. Where's Rudolph at? Oh, this one's rare. Albino looking reindeer. Bro, it's the shiny reindeer. Wow. Those are some phenomenal animals. I'll just say it. Those are sick. So this is called the subliminal space. They're saying this creepy Google Earth hospital evokes a sense of nostalgia in people. Like this, I do like the lights. That's really cool actually. It makes it so much less creepier. But like, it just feels like very creepy to me. Like when they, like they just do surgery. What, what is this? They, the, the doctor lean on that. Oh, the doctor must lean on that when he's cutting you open. You got the rainbow disco light so the nurses can party when they're done like maybe killing you. And a microwave, dude. This is Tarsia Island, Portugal. They said, look into the windows. Oh my God, we've got two ghost grandpas standing in the window looking outside. They must have died in the hotel. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ghosts in here, actually. Because, like, you must think they died in here. And, like, that's their ghosts looking outside, like, imagining vacation. That looks like a big old eggplant. Like, an eggplant emoji. Wow. This Google Earth guy sucks. He messed up really bad. Whoa! Imagine being a Google Earth guy. Blurring- Wow, you blur out your whole body, bro. Chill. Anyway, you're the Google Earth guy, and you get to go on an interactive boat ride. Like, we can just ride this boat with them. A couple animals just playing with some Lincoln Logs. Really not much to say here. It's a normal thing. Everyone's done it. If you're a nerd, you're gonna understand what this thing is. If you're not a nerd, you won't. I'm told this is a Doctor Who TARDIS. Never have seen Doctor Who, but what I'm more interested in is look at all the details on this street. We can see that Brian's selling some chili queens. This place has the tiniest little stools ever for little little baby children or something. Like who's sitting on that? What, this guy sells you, yeah, it's a chemist and they sell one hour photos. I mean, a lot of stuff going on. Frozen yogurt, kisses and feels. Oh, bro, we got the Among Us boys. This is definitely Russia. You just kind of know, man. You just know, like looking at it, you're like, yeah. This is a person hanging from an electric post. It's not a real person, YouTube. So if you're out here trying to demonetize me, it is a piece of artwork and an abandoned city, all right? But it would be very creepy if you're in this city and you see like some stuff like this. Here we are with the road to heaven. Oh, it, oh, oh, it is. Really, is this where you go? Oh, what the heck? Bro, did we just witness someone die? Obviously, this one's pretty simple. It's um, uh, it, it's probably some sort of giant sea creature, uh, tentacle monster, just off the coast, just reaching up, grabbing cars, eating people in them. Now, here's an interesting one that some are calling a sunken ship, but really, you can see a helipad on this. This appears to be a secret military aircraft carrier, maybe that was secretly meant to be deleted and was left in. This is where I'm gonna live one day, in this house right here, which is, wow, it's in the middle of nowhere, and yet somehow there's an airport right next to it. Where is this? Genuinely in the middle of nowhere, 
at the bottom of Florida in the Everglades, a single house. I mean, what? Bro, they live in with the alligators, man. A green UFO is spotted here, and it's apparently labeled as a school district in Google Maps. Whoa, what, is that a boat? That looks like a boat. Actually, this looks like the Assassin's Creed logo, and it's got another one here, and this point perfectly fits into that. It really feels like a alien spaceship to me in the middle of the desert. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Oh, bro, an invisible spy plane was caught. Where? Oh, look, it used to have an actual invisible plane they tried to hide, but I'm actually at that exact location and they hit it a little better. You can still see the outline of whatever this spy plane is. Either that means there's an actual airplane that can go invisible or they photoshopped it. Honestly, it looks like actual invisible airplane, doesn't it? And if you've ever wanted to ride in a helicopter, this guy actually sat in a helicopter. Where, what is he? Where are we at? We got Bentley's what bros just is some rich guy's house got in his personal helicopter and called it a day look at this thing wow what's that alcantara seats this thing looks very comfortable anyway this is the uncanny valley we're being told this is a very creepy doll situation this one's in buenos aires argentina so we're going to be traveling away from that abandoned city into another one that maybe should be abandoned based on how creepy this thing is supposedly wow absolutely gorgeous the colors are just popping everywhere and as you spin around you are faced with what is for some reason they're blurring out the doll faces i don't know google why y'all doing that wow this is pretty cool oh it's an interactive monkey exhibit you can just come oh this guy was just wait the google earth guy's taking a s <laughs> that's what he is like the weird thing is is it seems like he's either texting or he's taking photos with his phone I wonder if he saw that monkey and he's like, I better get this on Google Earth. Well, guys, if you thought this was cool, click here to go check out even more Google Earth videos and please consider subscribing. See you next time. Peace.